said, I'm, if I'm elbow wedging and pushing away, but I'm also trying to pull across, almost like I'm fighting my own effort, this is that perfect time that you guys are already swimming under and then going left, right to left, okay? When that guy seat belts, okay? So he goes leg in, and just correct me if I'm wrong here, coach. I'm pressuring back, getting the, getting the, getting the hip smash, strong position. Cross rake and seal, oh, sorry. I'm giving this, this wedge position right here. He goes to the seat belt and starts before, to get that seat belt. Before he goes to the seat belt. Oh, before he gets before the seat belt? Before he goes to the seat belt. You start pushing the foot away. So I start, so pushing, start the pushing the foot away. His foot away. Okay. Now, he's fighting back and you just scoop under and roll with him. No, 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 no. He starts fighting his leg back across. Like he's, okay, so like he's going to see Okay, belt. so I'm pushing yes. it to my right and yes. fighting it to the left. Yes, yes, so you're fighting, fighting, fighting. He brings it up and he, he kicks hard this way. Kick hard this way. You guys are like, if you're going to get a seatbelt back in, you're right oh, back coming out there? Yeah. Okay. You're All fighting right. to bring your leg back in like you normally would be. Mm -hmm. So he's hip smash, he's pushing, you're fighting back in. Second your hand slips under, he just. He's just taking that momentum and rolling with it. Okay, that's starting to make sense. And I think even in this position, if he does get to a seat belt and I got the arm under, I think the result's gonna be the same. We can play there and figure it out. But I think if I get here and legs in, right here, and I just, I'm getting to this hip smash position, and I, I'm starting to get under and push away, even if he combat and I'm trying to push his foot away and he knows it's going out, seat belt, seat belt. See, Bill, and, he, and he's preventing me from getting it out right here. It's the same principle, right? Because he's trying to pull across and stretch me out and square me up because he wants me here. He wants me here, right? So he can stretch me out and start putting me on my back, all right? So even if I'm digging elbow here and I'm trying to push the foot out and he catches me seat belt and he's pulling right to left, coming under here and swimming through, I think is the same result. Get my hips down. That seat belt might be a little bit tougher, all right? I don't know. I think the seatbelt might be a little bit tougher. Play in there with both. Play in there with your normal elbow dig and then swimming right to left and then do it with that seatbelt. I feel like that seatbelt might slow us down a little bit. But play in there and see. Do it without the seatbelt and then do it with the seatbelt. All right, so one more time. First one, this one coach was talking about getting a strong position and then getting the elbow dig right here. Okay, putting them outside, getting this foot out. Then when he, yeah. Just, I want you to think about spurring Spurring my hip with that heel. So I'm putting him out, he's coming in, I'm coming under. And I'm just going right hip to left hip right here, swimming through, okay? Good coach? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, just right hip to left hip. Anybody need to see it again? So elbow dig, I'm coming under. Top guy's fighting the hip back towards my crotch. I'm going right hip to left hip. All right, go.